Hey guys, it's Amber. Today I'm going to make for you my very favorite meal in the whole world, and that is spaghetti squash casserole. If you've never used spaghetti squash before, I'm going to show you exactly how it is done. It is delicious and it's so easy, and because it's spaghetti squash and not pasta, it's very low carb. So you're going to need to start out with a very sharp knife. This is a knife that I got from Tupperware several years ago. I have found that the thinner the blade the better it works. I have a, a chef's knife that has a thicker blade and it doesn't work very well for whatever reason. It just doesn't slice through there as easily. So you're going to um, cut each one of these in half. Now I am doubling my recipe so check the description box below and I will leave the uh, original recipe link down there. I don't follow a recipe anymore because I have made this so many times and I kind of adapt it each time I make it. So this is kind of inspired by the recipe that you'll see below but it doesn't exactly follow it so keep that in mind and as we go through here keep in mind that I'm doubling pretty much everything because I want to have one of these to take with us on vacation here in about two weeks and they freeze extremely well so if you make these think about making two it'll make your life easier later on so once you've scooped out all the seeds place them cut side down in a casserole dish and these are the same dishes that I'm actually going to bake the casserole in later so that eliminates you know part of the um, the dishes I pour about a pint of water in each one and then bake those at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Now while those are baking, I am going to dice up an onion. I just really like the flavor of the onion, the health benefits. You can also throw some garlic in there, but I did not have any garlic. I ran out and forgot to buy any at the grocery store yesterday. Of course, that happened because it wasn't on the list. So I am going to saute those in my largest cast iron skillet. Uh, this is a cast iron skillet from Lawrence. Lodge, and I am using uh, just a spatula here. This is from Culinary Couture, who's actually sponsoring today's video. A big shout out to them and a thank you. These, um, all the utensils in this video, with the exception of the Tupperware knife and the fork that you'll see me use in a little bit, are from them. They're really awesome quality. So while my onion is sauteing, I'm going to just slice up some mushrooms. You don't have to use these if you don't like them, but mushrooms are a natural source of vitamin D. So whenever I can use those, I like to throw them in. Uh, remember that you don't wash mushrooms. You should just brush off the dirt if there's any on there. So I'm just going to saute those together until they are nice and tender and brown. And then I am going to use the um, the spoon that you see here, I don't know what the name of it is, and just scoop those out because I need that pan to be able to brown my ground beef. Now I'm using three pounds of ground beef here because it's what was on sale at the grocery store but you know if you want to use ground turkey or ground chicken for um, less fat you can do that if you wanted to use an Italian sausage you could do that too I've used turkey sausage many times and that works very well but I tend to go with whatever's on sale so you're gonna brown that up and I'm just gonna season it with freshly ground salt and pepper you want to make sure that you season each layer um, because if you forget to salt and pepper something and you know your your entire dish just doesn't come out seasoned well enough and and then I'm going to um, just scoop all that out with the slotted spoon also from Culinary Couture because you can see how much fat was in this. I really wanted to use um, ground turkey in this recipe but like I said it wasn't on sale. So I'm going to, um, now that the ground beef is out and browned, I'm going to put back my onions and my mushrooms and then I'm going to add in uh, a brick of cream cheese. Now ideally I normally when I double this use two but I did not have two on hand. So I am going to use some vegan sour cream in here, which I happen to have in my refrigerator. Basically what you're wanting to do is make a very creamy sauce, as you can see here. So the sour cream is going to make it a little tangier than the cream cheese will, but it also works. So, you know, whatever you like, you can adjust it for your taste. And this is where you're going to just take a fork and start scraping out your spaghetti squash. And as you can see, it looks like angel hair pasta, basically. I mean, it's pretty pretty easy. Now you really want to let your spaghetti squash cool uh, almost completely because they are really tough to handle if they're hot and that's the issue that I was having while I was trying to scrape these out because I didn't let them cool long enough. So I'm just going to um, go through each 
each one of my halves here, scrape them out with a fork, and just add that into the pan with the onions, the mushrooms, the cream cheese, and the sour cream that I used. And uh, once you get all of that done, I'm going to use the spoon and just mix it all together very carefully. You can see now why I needed such a large pan, and this is the biggest one I own, so that's why I kept, you know, taking things out, putting things back in, because this is the biggest pan that I have. And then I'm going to go through and salt and pepper this as well. Well, if you want to use other seasonings like maybe some oregano, parsley, anything like that, that is totally fine. You can season this according to your taste and what you like. So then this is the one that I'm going to put in the freezer and I'm just using the... Um, the pasta serving spoon here because it makes it really easy to scoop out the spaghetti squash it holds on to it because it has those teeth and you're going to start out by making a layer of your creamy spaghetti squash onion mushroom mixture and put that on the bottom when I make two of these it's pretty easy because I just you know in my pan where I've got this I just draw a line down the center scoop out half and put you know half in each one of the casserole pans that I'm using and then I'm going to do a layer of sharp cheddar cheese we really like cheese in our house so when I make this I use two different layers of cheese so whatever type of cheese you like you can use in this if you wanted two layers of mozzarella or if you wanted you know whatever else you can do that and then you're just going to uh, use a spoon and scoop in there the whatever meat that you're using in, in my case the ground beef and you're going to do a layer of that over the top and then this uh, particular marinara normally I try to make my own because I don't like to have the ones that have sugar in them but this one I found at the grocery store yesterday buy one get one free and it does not have any sugar in it so that was pretty awesome the downside however was that it was kind of thin and uh, you'll see how that made the uh, final result a little bit thinner and then I'm topping it with uh, mozzarella and a little bit of white sharp cheddar in there as well normally I do all uh, mozzarella but I did not have enough for that so this is the second one this is the one that I'm actually cooking for us to eat the other one if you're putting one in the freezer you would stop and you would not bake it you would just uh, put a lid on it of whatever sort and you go ahead and put it in your freezer and you bake it when you're ready to eat it so this is the one that we're eating for supper today and I got the cheese layers a little bit out of order, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. It's all going to the same place. So um, I've got everything layered up there. And now you're going to bake it for about 45 minutes at 350 degrees. And due to the magic of internet, it's going to come out looking like this. Isn't that awesome? So this is the end result. Um, this is what it's going to look like when you pull it out of the oven. It smells delicious. And these are all of the utensils that I ended up using from Culinary Couture to make this video these were so helpful if you use non-stick skillets these are particularly good because they will not scratch the coating on there which is really important so that you don't end up with uh, damage to your non-stick skillet so keep that in mind and uh, go check them out these were really good quality they are heat resistant and they come in tons of fun colors not just black like what I've got so anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you will make this recipe because it is so good and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below I will talk to you later God bless bye